Right, okay. Uh, so we're going to go through the Singapore and uh, and the Hong Kong today. We're going to see what can still be bought, what can still not be bought. Suntech, if you want to collect a bit, also can. However, I don't like the fact that the uh, gearing is very high uh, for this guy, 42 plus percent. Uh. Vice Hospitality Trust, uh, I think it's a buy. La. But then uh, you buy this to hold the thing. So somebody said don't buy those not very active ones. But then if you buy it for the... You buy it for the dividend. Okay, la. I think nothing wrong with that. Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust. This remains to be one of the best picks. La. And it's still cheap. So it's definitely a buy. MIT, like I said, uh, maybe if you're a trader, you can buy this, I guess. I don't know. Uh. Uh, because the problem with MIT is that it's in the US, uh, the assets. Uh. I think about 40 or 50% in US data centers. Right? Wow, MLT 1.3. Uh. This one, also another one, always gonna attack. Uh. Don't know why. So do I think MLT is a buy? MLT is good, you know. The is well managed, man. I don't know why. I don't know how it dropped to one point three or so. So there's a lot of discount, lah. Capillary is not bad. It's quite on discount, also, lah. So if you buy now, ah, so it's like you are you are getting a lot of value, lah, basically. So for this one year, oh, but it's only a few times that it's lower than the price now, lah. Okay. I'm telling you first, ah. So phrases about the same thing uh, for this one year, there are only a few times uh, where we can get lower, uh, somewhere here, maybe somewhere here, but it's very rare. Uh, okay. Did I buy? Well, I did, I did buy a bit, uh, but some, the price I bought wasn't favorable. Uh. Some is 2.16, some 2.19, like some 2.18, latest is 2.14 I buy. Okay. So how do I say this? Uh? Uh, Always got bullets. I always got bullets available. Uh. I don't wipe all in. Uh. Okay. Especially Singapore reads, uh, the dividend is very low. And you're actually aiming just for the that one, right? So it's not so bad. Nico AM, uh, I think it's be, if, if it's below 7.6 or 7.5, this is a buy. Uh. No need to think so much, uh, this one. Okay. Hong Kong land, uh, I don't know. You all go and check. Uh. CICT 1.94, 1.93. .9 CICT is mostly pure Singapore malls. Lah, okay. Right now, 1.94 is not the best price. Lah, I know. Lah, but then it's also not the most jalat price. Lah. This is also quite stable. Lah. Okay. Parkway Life 3.5. I think I bought some at 3.55. Wow, I, 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 I lost $15. Daily. Uh, I think Parkway Life is okay. La. You see the one year. Oh. Uh, even at 3.55, uh, not many. La. I think I bought it at the mid. But 3.5 now is okay. La. It's quite cheap. La. What's the problem with Parkway? Parkway? Parkway, the problem is there is no problem. It's just that the thing is too... The yield is... The, deep, the, the, the DPU is too low. Everybody don't like so this one maybe if fall to 3.5 or 3.4, this is going to be uh, one thing that I'm going to eat a lot. La. Okay, I think the lowest, uh, I tell you the lowest is going to fall to is maybe about uh, 3.42. 3.42, that one is amazing price really. I think this one can get 3.45, uh, you owe me 12.4 already, la. part way life. Yeah. But the yield is not going to be stupid. It's not going to be like, wow, okay, eye-watering yield. Uh. The yield is going to be like lousy, uh, like 4%, those kind of, not, not going to be a lot. Uh. Okay. There, 4.2, ni, uh. uh, 4.2. 4.2 is not a lot. Eh. When you can get 5, 5 and from the rest of but 4.2, but this is supposedly, uh, is supposedly going to be very stable uh, and very steady, uh, 4.2. But yeah, I don't know. Leh. 
they say always and positive and uh, grow grow the NPI uh, this one that's why everybody like it so much what do I think about these uh? Uh, 4.2 is okay la. it's just that it's not sexy enough la. okay for if you are a Singapore based investor where you can only invest in SSB uh, 4.2 percent is good la. however you must also think uh, that the Singapore dollar now is very strong okay if it weakens uh, then uh, 4.2 is not really very favorable if your Singapore dollar weakens however if you are yielding about seven uh, seven uh, eight uh, seven six five Five no la, six seven eight la. or maybe five and or maybe five five point seven later when they cut the rates for the US la. it is at least gonna be better la. that's why I think okay so the problem with four point two is just that is there a better alternative out there because in US dollars in terms of uh, treasury bonds la, this one already cannot wet by treasury bonds five point five percent okay. So at the end of the day is, if I take the Singapore dollar, I invest in treasuries in one year or six month treasuries, and I beat this guy, right? When I exchange back later to Singapore dollars, will I still win or not? Right? Okay. Am I willing to take the currency risk or not? So that question you ask yourself, lah, not me. Okay. So Parkway Life, I am a bit, a bit, 50-50 lah. I'm not very interested in Parkway Life lah. But I do know that it's one of the best assets lah. So I do have a bit lah. I don't have a lot lah, okay. I think I sold this at 3.57 lah because I thought that, ah yeah, this is a bit too, that one. But then I bought back 3.55. Maybe I can buy a bit lah. Why did I buy back? Oh, I think that, uh, it's quite an opportunity though because I see the price go up then come down right so I think can trade this and maybe 3.6 plus can sell or something like that I don't know why people want to buy these uh, su such a high 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 price uh. I see also I, I blur honestly speaking okay I really blur it when I see the price I think 4.2 4.1 is okay la, but I think below 4 is already too ridiculous really, la, for Parkway life yeah FLCT, this one I bought a bit. This is Australia. Why I like FLCT? Uh? Because most of the assets are uh, uh, freehold, man. I, I, I like freehold assets. It's like I hold the thing there forever. I just sit down there, do nothing. I, I'm going to collect money. I'm going to renovate like, every 5 years or 10 years. Like, but then other than that, it's not, it's not a huge concern for me. Like, as in, if I cannot extend the thing, uh, wow, the thing is gone you know, forever. So, yeah and those kind of stuff sometimes it, it does happen right so yeah we, we don't know where it's gonna go la, from there so you all also must think lo, right whether you want mlt or all that but mlt so far according to kiva uh, and uh, elena i saw that actually you can extend the lease if the zoning and everything is nice if doesn't uh, uh, interfere with the plan of the URA, you can actually extend the lease. Right? For example, uh, Keith talked about it. Uh. Keith said that it's going to cost about 18% uh, of the purchase price of the price of the property to extend over 30 years. Uh. Th that is not, that is not expensive uh, if you think about it. Only 18% for 30 years. Then you can get, just pay 18%, you can get the DP for another 30 years. And a bit of renovation here and there. Lah, right? Okay, so you pay 20% of the purchase price that you can renovate or the value of the thing then can renovate. Wow, that's not bad, no, I think. Be high lah, 18%. So, yeah, I think uh, that's why I, I bought back to MLT because I thought that, yeah, I think uh, Maple Tree uh, can extend lah. They got connection ma, got power. The, that's why sponsored, I, I dare to buy MLT because it's sponsored lah. Uh, Capital China Trust. I don't know why this one came back up, but I bought this a very high price, 6.8, 6.9. Uh, but then uh, I don't really care lah, because it's at the lowest. Lah. Like how jalak can it go? That's the question. Lah, right? 
uh, why I buy this when I think Hang Long is better to diversify no? right we must diversify against our own holdings ma. I got quite a lot of Hang Long and I didn't buy a lot lah. maybe about uh, 3,000 to 4,000 it's not a lot Capital DC not interested Capital Ascenders this was quite interesting I took a look at it and I saw that yeah this is quite cheap and the prices are not bad lah. so I bought into it lah, Capital Ascenders Capital Ascenders is I think uh, is more to the this, uh, this is the old name 70% uh, Singapore uh, the rest is kind of mixed why I bought this is because 70% Singapore I like it right if not 70% Singapore I don't want to buy also okay Okay, so we are done with the Singapore assets. Lah. Uh, Capital Reed, Reed is not bad. I think Capital Reed is a buy lah, if you like offices. You think about it, nah, uh, with the US attacking uh, China, they're going to move their major and the financial stuff to Singapore, lah, most of them. Uh, they're not going to stay in uh, Hong Kong anymore, I think. Okay, therein lies the reason uh, of Hong Kong versus uh, China. I mean, Hong Kong versus Singapore. What the hell? Man? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? I like become blur, blur. Like <sighs> so, therein lies the reason uh, of Hong Kong uh, versus Singapore. So, if you invest in Hong Kong, you afraid that it's gonna run away to Singapore. Uh, you buy the the the, the risk in Singapore to even out the risk, lo right because right now hong kong you're getting like very uh, nice returns lah. but then if you say that it's nice returns ah i wouldn't say so so eh? yeah i wouldn't say that it's, it's the best also lah. so wing read uh it came down to 31.85 went down by half 50 cents uh yeah i just realized uh, that they, they, this actually this guy already gave out the dividends you know in other words uh, uh you the EX dividends, sorry, you already EX dividend. That means you record down you. So even if you sell now, uh, you will still get the dividend. Uh. Okay. The dividend is roughly about, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, so a lot of people don't understand. I think don't understand how this works. Uh, when I when I when I ask them, uh, they a bit a bit a bit blur blur like that. So. The EX dividend is 27, oh, 27 of June. Ah. Oh, not yet. Lah. Wow, not EX dividend date yet. Lah. Huh? Wow, haven't EX dividend date. And then we already go down so much. Ah. Okay, so this is a bargain. Lah. If it's really 27 of June 2024, Right, that means it's not recorded yet lah, the, for the link. So if you buy now, you are getting another discount of 1.32. So link definitely still a buy lah, now. So you are buying this for $30.50. So is this a buy? Definitely, this 100% a buy. Okay, so I think this one move in sympathy with the whole index. So everything fell down yesterday, it was sold down. So I already told you all lah, that China and Hong Kong market is under attack by the USA and the Europeans uh, they you know they they sabo the Hong Kong market so you can see every time it tries to go up uh, always got remember last time every time it tries to go up always got news right got got the weather balloon got this got that got the embargo on the chip and all that so there is this threat uh, of geopolitics right and then the famous is Bloomberg uh. Bloomberg always say that not always always paint a very dark picture saying that china is going to go bankrupt so please pull out your money from there okay uh so uh you can be safe lah. okay so that is the main uh, thesis of every newspaper uh recently they partner with nikkei to do it also they say that oh there's going to be regulations and all that blah 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 
So there's a lot of fake news, uh, you know, outside there. Lah. A lot of fake news. Now, why do you think the fake news is there? Pretty damn bloody obvious, right? It's a trade war, right? This is actually some kind of war. So the US and the NATO, they are trying to suppress China from growing. Not only that, they are encouraging, or I think uh, I think they are making regulations on it soon, uh, so that the uh, uh, the people uh, cannot invest in China. You are not allowed to invest in China. So I think the guys they also know it, really, uh, so they pull out all their funds, they run away, and in Marseille. so they ran away and Marseille. So what you are getting now, okay? Every time you ask Master Leong, uh, Alibaba why drop? Alibaba why drop? He cannot explain, ma. You know why? Because it's not really due to the bad fundamentals, lah. The fundamentals, wise, is not say very expensive, lah. Okay, I would say, it's just that now there is this threat, lah. The money keeps getting pulled out of China and Hong Kong. That's why the government need to prop it up. Government need to push it. So I already said this, ah. It's very. The stock market, lah, doesn't mean the fundamental is good, lah. That is gonna be good to you all the time, lah. Okay. For example, Baidu. Baidu is one of the most uh, underperforming stocks, lah, out there. And you know why? Because they are not giving out dividends, right? So if they don't give out dividends, the people realize that. I think everybody know it. Your dad, your mom, your grandma, your son, your daughter. Everybody know it. That China. The money is being pulled out of Hong Kong stock market, so the price is actually suppressed artificially. Okay, so there's a China discount lah, and we put about fifty percent right because we think that fifty percent chance is going to go bankrupt like a tasi or bad like that, right? So uh, we fairly weight and then we give it fifty percent discount tasi or bad something like that lah, which is a bit ridiculous lah, honestly in my honest opinion. However, okay, however. Looking at how the things are going, ah, wow, it doesn't sound so ridiculous at all, okay? Because you hear the news and all that, wow, die, 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 okay? Now we are here, right, to pick up the gold, ah. Differentiate between gold and shit, okay? So what is gold? Gold is those that can grow organically, right? What is grow organically It means they don't burn. <laughs> They don't burn uh, their profits just to get revenues to get market share. They can grow on its own, so it's kind of multi business. Okay, so why Baba fall while the rest go up? Any ideas? It's very simple because their performance has been lackluster. Okay, that's it. That's it. The performance has been lackluster. I already said this many times, right? Uh, the growth wasn't that good, and although AIDC and uh, China the sales increase is actually marked by what they're burning money lah to 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 increasing uh, operating loss, okay? Because from those segments, because they are burning money to capture market share for those two, AIDC and that one. So what do I think about it? There's nothing to think about. Why? Why is there to think about if they are burning money to capture market share? It's just that it is what it is, lah, right? And whether they can grow again is actually very important. Okay. So now, it's like a fledgling company. It's like a new company trying to capture market share again. Okay. So the past two years, ah, uh, uh, Daniel Chang's rule, ah. Uh, He actually did not try to grow the online business at all. He did not dare to burn money to grow. But then, you, your cloud is stuck and stagnant. You cannot do anything, so you have no choice but to burn money. Actually, if I were him, I would burn money at that time. I would go more aggressively and attack. Okay, uh, for example, something like C Limited like that lah. Right? You have to go and attack and then be more aggressive. You cannot down there like chow aqua turtle like that, but then he never push. You must attack, you know. Okay, so I think uh, he wasted the opportunity lah. Two thousand twenty one, two thousand twenty two, two thousand twenty three. Ah, those times, those three years were the best time to attack Asia. I think Southeast Asia. So South C Limited made the right choice. Lah. Okay, but Baba, I think. 
you when you make wrong choices uh, this is what you get lah okay so baba if you say that uh it's going to go up to 150 i would be a bit skeptical and ask you to take a look at the statement again take a look at the fundamentals take a look at the statement and see uh where where it's going to go properly lah okay because you are but you are buying on you are expecting hope to boil to push up the prices okay so what do i think about baba it's okay it's not say super expensive it's not say super like that but it technically if i look at it as a head and shoulders coming out maybe there can be some more downwards pressure is it bad it's not really bad to buy at the lowest uh, at the lower end uh. okay if there is a rebound in the thing but then uh i would go actually baba they make a lot of initiatives with it lah, when i look at it the buybacks the this the that everything i see the a eh, is filled with initiatives lah. i like it lah if you ask me i like the initiative they make it's better than baidu baidu is one that i won't buy a lot lah. i will buy a bit and hopes that the price gonna go back up but baidu is one that ah uh, yeah you so you are so passive, uh, you are not going to give the share dividends and all that stuff. Uh. Useless idea. Okay. JD is kind of... I think JD hard to grow really. Like. I saw the latest result. I don't know whether can grow yet. This one still. Okay. May Tuan is the super grower. Uh, is the only grower left. That's why the price is... Uh. So what do you see? I think I see uh, what from what I see uh, they want to buy businesses that can grow. And then if it grows, uh, hopefully later the business can give out dividends that, that equals about 10% or 11% of their cost today. Okay. Prudential is a value buy. Uh, so there's a lot of cheap companies actually in the Hong Kong. Prudential is a value buy. Don't buy it from the Hong Kong market. Hong Kong stock exchange is a piece of shit buy it from the US market is called PUK Prudential this business is in uh, English England and then uh, Asia this is England and Asia the insurance business okay Ping An Ping An Ping An is good it's just a state company uh, I don't know whether it's good or not lah. this is up to you lah. okay but uh, it's okay ma. at this price you're getting the dividend and so and so and so lah. So whenever you buy this, you just wait for the dividend, no? okay? So this is also why I think uh, a lot of people, they are now switching the strategy, right? They don't want to go the growth stocks or the value stock route anymore. They just want to get, you know what? I'm just going to wait and just want to buy those dividend stocks and then get the dividends. Worst come to worst, uh, every year I just treat it as I buy a bond, like a permanent bond. Correct, but if you, if you think about it, right? If you bought a permanent bond, uh, when everything fell from Hong Kong, you would be safe, you know, at least safer, lah. Okay, you would be performing better than the rest that bought the stocks. Okay. So, but then again, at that time also the interest rates was low, lah. Okay. So now I think uh, you can buy dividend stocks, you can buy bonds, buy corporate bonds, maybe a little bit. Try to be a little bit more diversified, lah. Okay. AIA. AIA, I said this one might be going up soon right? because it's kind of side, going sideways for a while. <laughs> Possibility of a re revival. Ling also, same thing. Sideways possibility of revival. So I think Ling is a buy. Like. This one I might add to my portfolio some more. If you ask me. Ben Sands and Hang Long. Hang Long is a bit crazy. I, see, I saw the price. I was a bit shocked when I saw the price. Uh, now it's, I think it's going to give up a 12% or 13% dividend. So this one is within my... Uh, I already calculated that it might go down there. So I think it might go down even more. Lah, Hang Long property. Okay. So am I am I scared? Not? Well, if as long as you give out the dividends, I'm safe. Lah. That's what I feel. So Hang Long is already calculated. So whenever I buy, uh, I already said that it's going to come down, bro. So the next buy will be in about $5.40. Okay, the first 
Okay, this one is the first buy would be about seventeen eight dollars. Second one is here. Third one uh, would be here. So it's a bit of a jump lah. So let's say, uh, Robert, I want a another uh, you know I want to dollar cost average in case I miss this downwards turn uh. So can you give me another number? Just take a look at here, and you see whether you can because there is really nothing much lah. If you ask me, you can push it up a bit lah here. I think if you want to 5.8 but other than that there's not much support lah. so a little down there lor, if you want to yeah, push it down a bit low I think you can force a 6 point yeah. but the price is super ridiculous here yeah. honestly speaking I tell you now uh, it doesn't make sense anymore the Hang Lung price is uh, going into the don't make sense category lah. but if you want to buy maybe uh, 6.4 lah oh, 6.4 can buy lah 6.4 yeah so Robert do you for sure believe that it's going to turn around or this one uh, whenever you invest there's always risk lah and the risk now for Hang Long is that the Hang Chou part, right? There are two risks. One is the Hang Chou, and the second risk is that I think they should cut the distribution. They should cut dividends. Okay. So I'm expecting a cut dividend cut so they can focus on the Hang Chou. After they get the Hang Chou business up and running, uh, they can choose to. I think they will reinstate the dividends. Lah. That is the most likely scenario. Okay. So Robert, are you gonna buy more? Uh, 6.4, 6.405, 6.41, I'm gonna buy more. Okay, I'm gonna buy more. I mean, I got a lot of Hong Kong dollars here. I already bought. I got this. It's, it's lying fellow. It's not doing really doing anything. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna buy lah. Okay. Am I scared now? So a lot of you are gonna ask me, Robert, are you scared? Why well, you buy so much Hong Kong here? Hmm. Not really. I saw the dividend record. I saw everything really. I think it's not that bad lah. Why? Why is everybody like 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 so scared of the thing ah? When uh, it's already having a nice reputation of giving out so many dividend at the same time. But I already told you ah, we already calculated the 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 risk ah. Okay, whether you want to use. I'm not a gambler. You see. I don't gamble. I I'm not going to whack hundred percent of my portfolio into Hang Long. Not even fifty percent. Not even seventy percent. Okay. Uh, so I'm not. I'm definitely not scared if we keep going down. Okay. So that's the difference between me la, and somebody who is more uh, uh, concentrated la. Right. If it's me, I'm able to take the down, the down, the down downs, down, the down. Every downdraft, I'm gonna take it in leisure. I don't feel stressed at all. I very relax. Why? Because I got good risk management. Okay. But do I earn less? No? Well, if the markets are correct and everything is correct, I'm gonna earn less than the people. Right. It is what it is. I have to say, I'm gonna earn less on the people. Okay. But the, when the market is in a downturn, I'm going to lose less than the people. Okay. So, when you buy Hang Lung, your thesis is for years. It's not, you buy that time, oh, then you see the day close, then you see the stock price, Oh shit, I didn't get the lowest price of the day. I fucked up so badly. That means your mentality, the way you think, the way you invest is is bad. It's very bad, Eddie. Really. Okay? It's very it's very lousy, Eddie. Really. So you are looking at years in front. Right? So I look at Hang Long, uh, I think one year or two years uh, is needed. So in other words, one year of two years of pain is needed, you know before Hang Long can start to turn around. Okay. 
And of course, we are going to monitor these lah, uh, oh, very, very, very tightly. We are not going to just let it go. Uh, we want to see what's happening. And if it's bad, we have to take loss. We cut loss. Okay, we cut loss. But is it really bad? We have to look properly, lor. That's the number one thing, right? Okay. So Hang Long now, I think is a buy lah. If you haven't bought it from the previous prices, now it's still a buy. Um, you might want to wait a bit until uh, the price goes down, but this is up to you. But just just buy a bit by a bit lah. It's okay lah. Okay. So we buy maybe thousand dollars, thousand dollars. I buy a bit two thousand, one thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, one thousand five hundred dollars, right? Uh, I I don't have to buy a lot lah. Okay. Then slowly and slowly and slowly, I I gain this. Uh, I slowly collect this. Then later when it turns around, I'm gonna get my money, lo. Right? When do you think it's gonna turn around? I don't know. But looking at the fundamentals, uh, I think the third round is going to be quite, uh, yeah, 5.8 low, I think around there. 5.8 or maybe uh, you can go down until 5.5 uh, lah. And what you buy now? Because I don't know the lowest price. But I think now it's very cheap really. Okay. I think now it's very cheap really. So, Hang Long, the thesis is very simple. Like, as long as the dividend cut is not more than... 50% uh, I think I can get I think it's not so bad uh. okay even if they cut dividends for 50% uh, for the next two years uh, that means it's only 5.5% I get 5.5% it's not so bad eh, for me uh. okay if I buy now so a dividend cut is already priced in but don't know what is the percentage okay but if it's more than 50% we all jialat uh. okay but if it's not more than 50%, let's say it's about 30% to 40%, 30% uh, uh, then we, we, we okay. We are okay with really. So this is priced in for about uh, 40 to 30% dividend cut, uh, I think. Okay. So whenever you buy Hang Long, uh, dividend cut, uh, please remember. Uh. Now, Ling one is the one that I think less likely for dividend cut. Uh, less likely. Uh. For a huge dividend cut like fifty or 20, fifty or seventy like that, I don't think so lah. Ten percent is possible. Okay. This one because uh, if they are not building the Hangzhou, but I think the at most only cut ten percent, twenty percent only. But because they are building Hangzhou, maybe fifty lor. So do I think it's good for them to... Yeah, I think they need to. Lah. They really need to cut the dividend. No? 20-30, around there. Lah. Okay. So do I think they're going to cut to zero? No? Cut to zero means cut fully. Yeah. There's a possibility. Lah. That's why the, the thing is like... Bah, 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 keep going down like that. There's a high possibility. But if it's me... Ah, because now is in a period of uh, danger, I rather they cut the dividend lah, and then they use the money to deleverage. Lah. So get a better gearing ratio is also not such a bad idea for me lah. Yeah, I think you cut to zero also not bad lah for Hang Lu. You gotta make a lot of people scream and the price can go down even more. But then yeah, bo pian. So am I prepared to buy in when the thing happens? Ah yeah, I prepared already. So I already uh, prepared until a uh, 4.4, right? 4.35 like that. Okay. 